Jared here for Charlie Papa Tango. We have the Henderson case trimmer. We just got it out of the box with all the little bits and pieces, and we did get it with the trimmer and motor combo. We're gonna put that together, and then we're gonna start trimming some brass. So stay tuned. We were gonna do a little unboxing, but it it didn't work out as planned. Uh, wife had a problem opening the box and figured out it was stapled as well, so I jumped in there to help her, you know, and we got it worked out. It was somewhat decent, no audio. She's like, yep, I'm done, I forget it. So, scratch the unboxing part of it. We're just gonna dive right into putting it together. I'm gonna adjust the camera to where you can actually see what I'm doing. And that way it won't be too much of a puzzle. This is the trimmer part. This is the uh, motor. This is uh, where the belt goes in between they attach. We'll call it the transmission just for the hell of it. But we're going to put it together. I'm going to kind of show you how to put it together and everything. And I've also got all the, all the little parts sitting out here. The extra collet I ordered with it. And the uh, cutting heads I've got to start with. Got the trimmer here. I'm going to go ahead and take the shield off. I'll set that to the side. And it does come with uh, an Allen wrench for the two screws that secure the cutting head. It does come with a, it's 11 sixteenths for the uh, cutting, where the cutting head goes so you can tighten it down. Other than that, I did not get any other. Uh, wrenches so this is a quarter inch which you will need to tighten down your uh, the stoppers to set the actual length and I want to say this was an eighth inch which is what we're going to be using to mount the the motor and this one I'll be honest I can't remember e either way it's the it's the one to uh, the pulley that mounts to the back of the uh, trimmer and that's going to use to tighten it down so just want to go ahead and let that be known that there were a few things uh tools that it didn't come with that we needed first thing we're going to start with is actually putting this piece on here so trying to be nice to it so Get that in here, get it lined up. Should probably use my tool to start them, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the screw started. I say I am fat fingering it. There it goes. Could have grabbed one that was a little longer. Anyway, we're just gonna snug those down. I don't think we're gonna need to torque them very hard, but. You do want to make sure this doesn't come off, so. So we're going to go ahead and take this, and we're going to get our belt, put our belt on there, and leave that up so it's a little easier to get to. Slide that up in there, and take this wrench, push in. I know that's in the shadows, but I think you get what I'm doing here. Snug that thing down. Try and stay out of the camera view. I have a problem with over tightening things. So now we're going to get the belt on there. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to turn it around here. Sorry, my head got in the way there a little bit, but Got that first one in there. So, I get that and get started. Yeah, a longer handle on that would have definitely been nicer. 
now here I am running into cut her head I may have to rethink that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it up where it's pretty snug and not putting too terribly much tension on it we're gonna go ahead and now put the cutter head in there it's a nice beveled so it should pre-align itself very well and right back here in the back is where we're going to that So now, holding their supplied wrench, we're going to do, well, both of their supplied wrenches, we're going to snug that down good. I uh, wouldn't put too terribly much pressure on it. And that is in there. So, and the collet. I'm just going to show y'all that real quick, like how it works. So the collet itself it's just like that. This is the number one. It slides right in there. Goes in. Yeah, so it's that simple to put it in there. And you're just going to run it down. stop you're right there so call it super simple it doesn't take any tools or anything like that so the only other thing we need to do is just take one of these uh, spacers stoppers excuse me and run it in here And for the most part, that's going to be pretty well together. Kind of double check. That looks like it might be a little short. But I'm a little short, so we're not going to talk bad about it. This is a sized, excuse me, a trimmed casing that I, I keep. And it's hard to tell. It's going to be really close. I had that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be long for sure. So we're gonna try to move that down just a little bit. Take our wrench here. So let's right. gonna go in just a little. I'm just going off of my size case and where it lines up. Ooh, that is, that may be touching. Let's, let's stop there and I'm going to grab a piece of brass, brass that's ready to roll, 24, so 1.724, now I would like it to be at 1.70. So, I'm going to do this without the guard. I'm just going to make sure I keep my fingers well back. How's that? Did I get it on there straight? It was a little off. That's not too bad. Safe here. Definitely took a little off of it. That didn't go too far. So I'm 1.719. So I may be a thousandth short right there, but I'm not going to mess with it. That is going to be just fine. I don't know if you can see chamfer. Yeah. Looks very nice. So I'm gonna put this one to the side. I'm gonna grab, let's see, I'm gonna grab 10 pieces of brass over here. 
They should all be about the exact same size that one was, about five thousandths over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through these real quick. I'm gonna put the guard on so that way it's not get us started there. That way I'm a, a little a little more safer. So going with it. Exactly going for speed. This is going to be some of my first ones. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be slow at this to start off with for sure. But I tell you what, this is extremely nice on the hands. Beats the heck out of doing it on a, a manual or even some of the case prep centers it's a whole lot quicker for sure and I mean I'm not putting a lot of it does not take a lot of you know torque on that handle to tighten it down and I'm not having to push in very hard I mean, I'll, the machine is actually very quiet compared to my case prep stations. So let's measure these and see how they... That got a little short on me. Let's see here. Okay, I think they're all running a little on the short side then. Yeah, because I'm running closer to like 17. So I might have gotten that just a little low. That went almost to 16. Yeah, there's 17. Yeah, so I am going to cut them a little bit short. I may try to move it just a little bit. They're really between 16 and 17. So I'm 1.716, 1.717. But they're staying within that balance. I mean, they. the first one I measured, it was a... That's 1.16. One seven and a half, so that maybe a thousand and a half. So I mean, between one point seven one six and one point seven one seven and a half ish. <laughs> so that is not bad. I did get it a little bit on the short side, but that's gonna that's gonna work very well. I really like it. It's easy. It's quick. It's quiet I just all of the things I really want out of a trimmer right now and <laughs> it did really well it looks like I have about a one and a half thousandths variation it is a little short but that's my fault I, I'm probably gonna try to work that out to to get it a little bit closer to my desired trim length and I'm, I'm happy with it and I, I would really like to know if you have a Henderson trimmer or have had or have used you know, what are, what are the things you like about it? What are the things you dislike about it? You know, just drop us a comment and let us know. We'll see you on the next video.